I want to introduce to you what we're doing so that it has some relevance. Uh, right now you're seeing the machine, or you were seeing the machine laying up this layup that we have right here, uh, which we produced uh, previous to this. It's laying it up really fast. We have 4,000 inch per minute ads and 3,000 inch per minute cuts. Um, so it's a very high performance layup in that regard. And also, it's a very challenging layup. You can see there's lots and lots of exposed toe ends everywhere. And there's some pretty short toes and there's some smaller gaps down in the middle there. The point of today's demonstration is to uh, promote our AFP 4.0 uh, philosophy for doing layups and fiber placement cells. Uh, today's demonstration is going to be primarily focused on the inspection side. Um, you'll see the machine doing layups. Okay, I'm uh, apparently live now and on our inspection system. So uh, I'm gonna zoom out. The very last ply we did of that part looks like this. The part started, starts in the middle and then builds its way out. And then from on the outside, from the outside and builds its way in. Uh, you already saw that earlier. I won't belabor it too much. Okay, so what we're looking at here is Oh, never mind. 
All right, I'm back with you here. Uh, I was going to wanted to show you that, but basically what what you're seeing is the, the video of the machine, live feed video of the machine, and below that is the is the feed rate of the sur of the surface speed of the machine. So you'll see the spiking going up to 4,000 inches per minute at times. You'll see it slowing down to 3,000 inches per minute. That's the point of the graph below to show you the performance of the equipment. Okay, that's it. So this ply was before the one we just showed you. What would have happened is this ply would have been laid. Uh, Rip it would have real time measured these. Uh, at the end of building this ply, it would either have been approved or not. Every one of these was approved, so that's a really good sign that we have a good layup. Once it's approved, it would then move automatically to this ply and create it. So that's that's what you guys saw. Uh, maybe we'll go back and replace some of that or relay it if we want later. Um, so now we're doing the visual inspection system, and I'm going to check and see with my team and see if it's going. Okay, I got a thumbs up. So there's a lot of toe ends there. It's going to take a while to process these, but I think, are they coming in? Yep, you have to click on, them, on that one. Oh, there we go. Okay, so there's a toe. I'm going to zoom right on in in here. And what you can oh, see... This. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, so it's getting a little coaching from the, uh, the team that wrote this software. So the, the yellow, the maroon barrels or purple barrels are from our real-time automated inspection system and the white barrels are from the visual inspection system um, you can see that they compare very well very well for the most part um, and then we'll check some of the areas where they're not quite the same and kind of figure out why Let's see. okay Okay, so it sounds like I'm back live here. I had to get a little coaching. So uh, the data is kind of slowly populating and that's, that's the way it, it does with the visual system. It's a great system, it's certified and, and it is used in factories in the world today. Uh, but we think that Rippet's even maybe a little bit better. Uh, and we're gonna show you why. I guess you saw why, because it's fast. Uh, the supplies are inspected within five seconds of completion. And by comparison, this one here is taking a little bit longer to do. So we can zoom in. We can see we're getting images of the ply. We're getting data filtering in from the vision system. And we can go in and look. And you can see that we're getting really good correlation between Ripit and the vision system. The vision system is certified. Ripit is in the process of being certified. The vision system is somewhat slower. Okay, I wanted to jump in here real quick. Uh, as we're doing these layups, you'll notice it'll finish apply and pause. During that pause, that's when the automatic inspection system is making its final calcs. Once it does, it, if it's approving the ply, it'll send a signal to the CNC to continue on. Also, you're going to see our speeds are starting to come down. As the pieces get really short and the gaps get small, the machine automatically slows down to maintain reliability. Okay, uh, we'll go back to the action. Okay, I'm jumping in one more time. So just so you know, we've, we've been running continuously here since 
one minute after the hour. I got uh, almost 10 minutes after the hour, so just nine minutes. Um, in that time, we placed over 1,250 individual strips of tow. Uh, we're only running four lanes. You do that to preserve, uh, to get cycles on lanes without spending, you know, uh, it costs us about $12,000 a full head. So it's nice to only have the four lanes. It, it's a little more economical to do that way. Uh, but we are getting the actuations on the toes. That's the equivalent of doing uh, 5,000 toes on a 16 toe head. And since we've done two of these bunt cakes for you, that's the equivalent of 20,000 toes. The average fiber place part in the uh, Boeing factory is somewhere around uh, 150,000 toes or so. So you can see we're doing significant portions uh, of events uh, right here in this live demo. You're seeing the reliability of the equipment and the sheer speed of the equipment. I don't think there's any AFP equipment out there going this fast and uh, here we're doing it for you live. Okay, so some st statistics for you. We did two bunt cakes. That's uh, equivalent to 3,000 strips of toes laid by only four lanes. Those four lanes are producing floor to floor rate of over 37 pounds an hour, almost 40 pounds an hour of fully inspected fiber placed toe with only four lanes. This is a 16 lane AFP head. We only use the four lanes because we want to get the actuations on the lanes to demonstrate reliability. And we can't afford to run 16 uh, <laughs> bobbins at a time. Just the, the, the material is $45 a pound, my price. So uh, we, we opted to limit the number of lanes, but to get the actuations up, um, we have short strips of tow. And even with those little tiny short strips of toe, what you saw was floor to floor, almost 40 pounds an hour. All right, folks, this is your one last chance to look at the layup. We did, like I said, the two bunk takes. You can see the average toe is really short. Here's the smallest toes, and then they get a little bigger, and a little bigger, and a little bigger. Bigger, bigger, but they're the longest toes are really only about this long. We still got 37 point something pounds per hour out of only four lanes of a, of a 16 toe head. So that just shows the potential of this uh, AFP 4.0 system. Uh, it improves your the quality of the part is extremely high. The reliability of the equipment and process is extremely high. The uh, the rate at which we put this together, the production rate is very high, and the utilization of the equipment is nearly perfect with AFP 4.0. And uh, we recommend that you come see us and contact us often so that we can uh, help you uh, operate one of these things, which is really a money press for you.